Dad's letter. And no, it's not Alyssa's dad. Dear May, how are you? I am now in France, in a region known as Champagne. Champagne? Champagne? Whatever. It is a beautiful place with vineyards as far as the eye can see. When the war is over, we must come here together for a holiday. I hear they have organized for blackouts in London now. I am sure that you are fine during the day, as Jane is there. But I worry about you being alone at night. You'll be all right, won't you, darling? Keep warm. With love, Daddy. Now, I don't think they ever introduced Jane. I don't know if she's a babysitter or a relative or what, but... um. May you're going to meet soon, and as well as her father, but I don't know about Jane. They never... Ugh. Okay. Like I said. At least I don't ever think they introduced Jane. Could be wrong. You never know. We're going her. And we're going... Her. Go in. Thank you. Ah. Huh. I forgot about this room. Must be the owner of this house. There's a key. Red drawer key. Uh huh. Okay. Hmm. That's just kind of creepy. Somebody must have been here. Holy! That has never happened to me before. Holy crap. Okay. I don't... I don't think there's anything else. I don't think I could pick that up either. Okay. Okay, um, wait a minute. Am I supposed to go over here? Maybe that's why I didn't know where the hell to go. Yeah, this is the right room. Um, huh. Blood. That's always a good sign. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Oh, here we go. The Christmas Tragedy, Young Pianist Brutally Murdered. Now, see, this is why I wanted to do it before Christmas, because it was kind of Christmassy, but not in a... Yeah. Christmas Day, 1942, Pall Mall, Mae Norton, age 12. She's 12? She does not look 12. Was found murdered in Norton's The Tailor. She was discovered by Norton family nanny Jane Stride. Okay, Jane's the nanny, who returned home to find the victim unconscious, bleeding from the head. An autopsy has revealed that it was an instantaneous death caused by a blow to the skull with a heavy, blunt object. No suspects have been named. The victim had taken part in the 15th annual piano concourse at the Victoria Hall in Kensington the previous day. A, cons a ugh, consummate pianist, Miss Norton, has widely tipped for first prize, but an unfortunate error in her performance prevented her from taking the crown. May had been living at home alone since her father, William Norton, a serving officer, returned to the front in July. Yeah. Here's where the fun's gonna begin, people. Pardon my, uh, reading and my pronunciation, and yeah, here we go. This is so sad. When I first played this, holy crap. In case you couldn't tell, that's May. She does not look 12. She looks like she's frickin' 8. Ow. Damn. That's gotta hurt. And that is Sledgehammer. Although, when I played the game, I called him Mick Jagger. Holy crap. And yes, that's a cutscene. I'm not moving her. Okay. Evade points and hide points. Um, 
Basically, uh, evade points are only like one-time use things, and hide points you can return to repetitively, but if he's getting closer to you or if you can't shake him off your tail because there's really no way to fight him yet, um, you have to hide. Yeah, that's, that's the sucky part of the game. You don't get a gun, you know, you don't get to bash him in the head with anything. You just have to frickin' run for your life. Yeah, and you have to keep an eye on your panic meter at all times. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. First things first. Yes, I'm using a frickin' red drawer key. Gotta get May's room key. And now... Holy crap! Holy crap! See the panic meter's going up? Whoa! He's getting behind me! Holy crap! Holy crap! Yes, I want to use her room! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! You also want to frickin' get in there. Get this. Get this. We need this. Yes, we do need the invitation. And now, cutscene. Holy crap. Yeah. Holy crap. Go to this. Go to this. Go to this. We're gonna kick his ass. This is an evade point. It can only be used once. Now I don't know how the frig she got she managed to uh, do this, but yeah. Run like hell. He's going to get up. And no, I'm not kidding you. He will get up. We have an invitation. There's only one other place to go. And that is out. And yes, going out is the best thing. Run over this bridge. Run like hell. Oh my god. This... I hate the music for this guy. I really, really do. Oh my god. I need water. Okay. I know you shouldn't do that because he's right freaking there! Thank god he goes away. Whew! My god. My lordy lordy god. Oh, good piano music again. That means we're safe for now. And yes, we're going in here because we have an invitation to her concert. Isn't that beautiful? Even though, like in a way, the piano music is freaking creepy at the same time. And those things, oh my god. Those are evil, evil butterflies. Do not trust them. And the door locked. Yes, we are locked inside. Um, we'll go this way. We have to- ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes, I want you. Come here. Okay. Lavender water is a grand thing to have. More than you'll ever know. And now, notice how the music stopped? Yeah. And yes, Alyssa gets easily creeped out by everything. That's hence her panic meter. Now we get to meet May. This is actually kind of sad. Look at her, she's covered in blood, her skull's bashed in, and she's crying, and, oh, poor kid. But you know what? For being hit in the head, she doesn't have any imprints or anything. Like, your, your skull would probably, like, be crushed. Holy crap! 
Yeah, I'd run too. Holy freaking crap. Yeah, there's only one way to go at this point to save your ass because he's that freaking close to you. Run! Holy crap! You run back here. He cannot get to you back here for some reason. I do not know why. Um, Because this is like curtains. I mean, can you just lift up the freaking curtain and crawl? You know? I don't know. That's just my opinion. We gotta move this down and... Blood! Oh, that can't be... Oh, God. That's gotta suck. <laughs> it's been crushed, yeah. Um, I'd say that's a horrible death. 